Okay, let's talk about my second project car, shall we? So I got this thing just, I'd say, maybe maybe only a week ago. It's not, I didn't even, get, I got this thing almost just recently, so, uh, pretty new. So this is my second project car. I have that thing like I just showed in the last video, and I have this thing. This thing is a 2013 Dodge Dart SXT multi-air turbo 1.4 liter. <sighs> Mouthful. I know a lot about this car. This thing has been around around me anyway longer than that thing has. This Dart has been around for 10 years of my life. And that thing has only been around for about one. So, anyway, so it is the Dodge Dart SXT multi-air herb so yeah it is currently not in running order which is exactly why i have it so let's just go ahead get on in the driver's seat and let's talk something dark okay so let's just get a few things out of the way this is a 2013 dodge dart 1.4 liter sxt multi-air turbo and this was my dad's vehicle and it was running uh about yeah, about a week ago, the day I got it, it was running. It was not running great, and that's why he gave it to me. So, it was burning oil, and it has 100,000 miles on it. It was burning oil. My dad wanted nothing more to do with it, uh, because he's already done a whole bunch of stuff to try and fix this car. Dud, he could not figure out how to fix it, so that is a shame. So anyway, yeah, he didn't want anything to do with it, and I, once they came home, I'm like, how to do? And he went... I don't care about this anymore. Tosses the key, uh, at, or s tosses the key to me, and I'm like, why? And he's like, I don't want anything to do with it, so it's all yours. So anyway, I, this is mine, <laughs> which is awesome. I've, I've loved this thing from day one. It's an amazing vehicle. I've always loved the darts. They're, they were cheap. They were, um, really, they weren't, I wouldn't say, like, luxurious vehicles, but they were, pretty decent for what you got so i do i did clean this thing for him a lot but it's my car now so i get to clean it and it'll be for me but it was cleaned so it'd feel good for everybody anyway so i'm gonna clean this thing again it needs to be cleaned um but i'm gonna talk about what is its main issues so let's get to that so a couple of issues that this vehicle has is it ran it ran very poorly it was burning oil and we never figured out why it was burning oil i figured it out i hope i still don't know much about darts at least not in the engineering side of things so if you guys do know what the most common ways of burning oil is you know, down in the comments but i'm pretty sure i figured it out so we'll see just how accurate that is okay anyway so this thing does have a, quite a bit of mechanical issues the longest time we had transmission issues and we still do uh, according to my dad so the shifter the transmission's absolutely fine we got a brand this is a brand new transmission so uh, it's not a transmission issue but whenever you go to go shift it into different gears it won't shift into that gear even though the the shifter is in like let's say i shifted it into drive sometimes the car would just stay in park so this does not work um, there's multiple different reasons as to why that might be, but it's still not a major issue. You can live with it. It just sometimes won't shift into that gear, but otherwise like drivability, it shifts, it shifts the gears fine. Once it's in the gear, like neutral drive reverse or whatever, then it runs. That's fine. It's just when the first time you start it up, then you might have a little bit of shifter issues, but once it's going, it doesn't have any other issues. So that's all I know about the shifter. Uh, this is not a fully decked out model by a mile. This is uh, just got a couple extra features. It's got the turbo, no cruise control, and it has a touchscreen. So that's basically it. It's not like the fancy dash. It's a pretty basic dash, I feel. So yeah, so we do have a check engine light, but that's because the car is it's backfiring or misfiring or whatever. So it's it's got some issues right there. But why don't I go show you guys what's wrong with the engine and why, as of now, it will not run. Let's go do that. Okay, anyway, so here we are underneath the engine. There's a couple of issues, actually. Number one, the gasket's off. I took off the gasket. I took off this uh, PCV or whatever. 
Uh, it's to separate the air to oil uh, molecules to protect your engine. Well, that so that way it won't go leaking everywhere, and you know that way air doesn't get sucked into your or just blown out the air into your air system and whatnot. But that is the issue. So one of these seals, this seal right here is the only seal I was able to find, and that seal was not making a good enough contact to the uh, PCV, and because of that, it would leak down this side, down each cylinder hole, causing oil to go into the cylinders, which is why these things are oiled, and once it, if it didn't get the cylinders, it dripped down the side of the engine, or the head, into your intake, but you could see the oil. I've wiped off most I can, but I tipped it upside down just now so I so it can drain all that excess oil. And this thing goes straight to your turbo, which is not good. Turbos need oil, but they don't want oil going right through their freaking inlet. That's their air inlet. There's not supposed to be any oil out there. So that's 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 an issue. Another issue with it is it's res it's coolant. So the coolant's fine, but the radiator is not. So that radiator hose way down there, that little black hose right there, that hose has a crack. Not the hose, but the radiator has a crack, and it causes coolant to leak out, and for the longest time caused my dad to have to refill the coolant for every, like, hundred to a couple, to every, any, through every, like, thousand or a couple hundred miles, so it is not good. So that's what this thing's main issue is. I'm going to try and fix it up. I need to do an oil change. You can already see the seals. Not great. Got my hand dirty, so that's a shame. Anyway, so it does have quite a few issues with it. I'm going to clean out the engine bay as best I can. Get it running in good condition. Working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a new seal for this. Hopefully seal it right so it will be sealed. And then... Look, I could slap the engine back together, slap the terminal back on, and everything else. We'll see if this thing fires up. If not, that's eh, gonna suck. In the meantime, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And of course, I'll see y'all later in another video. It's very bright. Um. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And of course, subscribe.